Yeah, hello, hello, Ramakrishna. Okay. So, okay. Now, we will go ahead and start with a quick recap of what we have discussed. In the first session, we discussed about the ERP and SAP, different, uh, the introduction about ERP, SAP, and then we dis discussed about the concept of, uh, you know, uh, ABAP. And in this, we have various, uh, various uh, topics that we discussed. What exactly is the concept? and uh, what exactly is the concept and what is the company and version. So uh, let me tell you this once again, because this is something which we need to feed in our mind. So just like car is a concept, ERP is a concept. Who can manufacture a car? Anybody. It's not that only BMW needs to, can manufacture it. Anybody can manufacture it. Similarly, just like car is a concept, ERP is a co also a concept. Who can manufacture ERP software? Anyone, but SAP is number one in the world from past 49 years. And then this ECC is one version, version of the software, just like X1 is a version, ECC also is a version. So if you, if I just ask this question uh, that if you, if I have to have purchase a phone in 10,000 rupees, then uh, if I ask 100 people, 100 people will give me 100 different suggestions. But if I, if I tell them that, you know, if I have, if my budget is one lakh, then 90% of them will be, 90% uh, of them will be suggesting them, suggesting me, um, iPhone. Okay. This is what we have. Right. So now just like, you know, photocopying is a concept, just like ERP is a concept. Photocopying is also a concept. But if you go to a shop and ask them, do you have photocopying? He'll say no, but Xerox is a company who actually introduced this photocopy. And if you go and ask them, do you have Xerox? They'll say, yes, actually Xerox is a company name. It's not the, the concept. The concept is actually photocopying. But no one will understand if you say photocopy. They don't understand with Xerox because Xerox has become a brand name. It's a company name. Later, a lot of companies came and uh, man uh, manufactured machines which can do the photocopy, but it's still called Xerox only. Now here, a uh, lot of companies who have thousands and hundreds and thousands of crores of uh, turnover will always go for SAP software because this is most reliable, reliable software for the topmost companies, for high revenue companies. Okay, then we have the ABAP by four. In ABAP by four, we have a lot of concepts in which we have data dictionary, programming, forms, object-oriented programming, conversions, enhancements, process applications, and workflow, and HANA ABAP a little bit of. So this is what we have. And just like, you know, we have smartphone. Smartphone is 90% ready for us to use, and 10% configuration have to be done. Similar to that, uh, SAP software is also 90% ready for a company to work on. Let's say we are talking about BMW. BMW to to work on PM to work on this software, uh, it is ninety percent ready. The software is ninety percent ready, but remaining ten percent configuration customization have to be done by ten IBM. So let's say now if, if SAP uh, is if BMW purchases software from SAP, no matter how how sophisticated how much how many applications are there, they will definitely not have an application to maintain the uh, COVID status of the employees. So because COVID, status, COVID has come in the recent one, two years, but uh, this uh, software might be, uh, uh, you know, way, way back than that. So who will go into, who are, who's going to build that applications? We, as an ABAPA, we are going to build that applications in SAP. And remember, whatever you do in SAP has got a lot of value. So for example, I, I also ask this um, question to all, like if two of two friends are there with same IQ level, same knowledge, same brain, but one person, you know, one person uh, started a Nokia, Nokia repairing store, Nokia repairing store, another person started an iPhone repairing store. Okay, so who will actually, who will actually get more, uh, you know, more customers, more revenue, iPhone guy. So it's not important how much work, uh, hard work you're doing. You have to do that hard work in, in the right kind of a direction. So if you have, if you're doing in a, in a direction in which we have money, then money also will come to you. The money, flow, you should be in the money flow. So if I, if, if another example, if I hire a civil engineer for constructing my house, uh, I will pay him some 10,000 or 20,000 per month. Okay. Till my, till the completion of my house. But if the same person is hired by uh, LNT with the same talent, the LNT might pay him 50 to 60,000. Okay, so this is something which is very important.
There was some this song, I just had to reset. Okay. Now, uh, there is a money flow for LNT. LNT is having the th hundreds and thousands of flows of projects. So he, he can give the salary of 40 to 50,000. But for me, it's a small house. So I'll be able to pay only 20,000. But that does not mean that the person who is working is less talented or more talented. It has, been, it has got nothing to do with talent. It has got to do, what to do with uh, kind of a direction in which we are going ahead and learning. Okay, because the kind of packages that you have in SAP, you cannot expect in any other technology. But the, having said that, that does not mean that it is very, very complicated. It's only thing is it's used by a lot of big companies. Okay, same example. So if you see this, Nokia, a Nokia repairing shop guy also has to work in the same technical skills. An iPhone guy also will work with same technical skills. But this guy will be paying, will be earning more because iPhone band is high and uh, the the customers also will pay him more. Same here. So So SAP has got a lot of brand value in the market and it has got a lot of scope. And remember, if you are wondering who will buy for uh, SAP, already SAP 4 lakh installations, 4 lakh installations happened, 4 lakh installations already happened throughout the world. And they have 3 lakh plus customers. So as well, and these, these 3 lakh customers are not you and me. You can say Coca-Cola. Or say something like uh, uh, you have uh, Nestle, or uh, say something like Rand Baxi, Dr. Reddy Labs. Or uh, say something like uh, you have Cadbury, Pepsi, or HSBC Bank. Or American Express Bank. So there are a lot of lot of companies from a lot of sectors. All these topmost companies already use SAP. They are using SAP. And they also saw the advantage of going for SAP. So if you have a topmost company, 90% uh, of the chances are it, it will be using SAP. So it's like, see, uh, if there is a if there is a person, uh, 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 forget about a person, if, if there is a software employee. If there is a software employee, how many chances are that he'd be using a smartphone? Probably 99%. Okay, because if he doesn't have a smartphone, he cannot do his work actually. So 99%. But I am I'm reasonably concerned as 90%. Similar to that, almost 99% we have a CP, but you no, know, maybe there might be some companies who might not be using it. It's okay. So 90% of the topmost companies by default use SAP because they are a monopoly from 49 years. They are monopoly from 49 years. I'm telling all these things because these facts needs to be known by you because you have to get a clarity on what we are getting into. So ABAP is the only coding language and it has got a very good future as of now at this point of time. Because uh, if you see four or five years back, uh, the market was not at all good. I always used to suggest everyone to go for BW instead of ABAP. Uh, but now the market is the best right now at this point of time. So I'm suggesting everyone, like, you know, I'm suggesting everyone to uh, go ahead and learn and make a good career in ABAP because this is the right time to do it. Uh, there's a huge demand. I don't know why. Maybe because uh, the people who are learning it is less or maybe the projects are more on the software, whatever. Whatever might be the reason. But it has got a very good future uh, at this point of time. If you get into a career, obviously this will keep going on. Now, uh, in this, we actually created a first program. Okay, first program, how to create the first program, the steps to create the first program is what we have seen. And we have seen the data types. 
and we have seen the internal table concept in structure internal table internal table and work area these concepts uh, this concept we understood these concepts before that we have the elementary data types and then we have structure internal table work area then we have the control break statements control break statements okay so we have control break statements now control break statements is what we are going to discuss now if you are from say uh, even if you are not from the software background you might have definitely heard about this control break statements in your mathematics calculations and all okay it will be similar to that okay now what do i mean by that is the if and if statement if we are keeping a condition like uh, p underscore c let us say p underscore color is equals to r so i say write color is red color is red and if now this is what we have and this uh, this is one one if condition now uh, as per the good coding practices we need to have the exception as well means if none of the conditions work then you should have the else part as well so we'll write if p underscore color is equals to r now sap is not case sensitive now what do i mean by not case sensitive is whether you write in lower case letters or upper case letters it will be same but this r should be written in capital letters i'll explain you why okay this r should be written in capital letters now this is right i'll just copy this here now here right Uh, this one else part else right color is unknown okay so if it is like uh, if, if if this condition satisfies then color is red if it is not then color is unknown this is what we have this is if and if statement okay let's look at that in the in the program but before this before introducing this in the program i'd like to give an option i'd like to explain you about an option called parameters parameters so when you define something in parameters it will give you an option of giving some input it allows you to give some input let's see that okay. let's see that okay um, let me go from the beginning So I'll click on local object at this point of time. So 
So sometimes when you are practicing, you'll get this, uh, you know, I, uh, cursor like this. If you get the cursor large, then what happens is whatever you write, it will be edited. Like this is very important for you all to know. So I go for, see, now I give a given uh, inverted quotes. I want to write something. Now this, the old old code that I have uh, written will be gone. So you just need to click on the insert command on your uh, uh, on, on your uh, keyboard and it will not it will not remove the code which we have written in the past. Okay. Now this is what now I would like to introduce something called parameters. Now when I write parameters p underscore color, I'm writing the length as one and type as character. So if it is length as one and type as character, either you can write it like this or without that. So when we execute this, it, it will give you, it will ask you for the option to give input. So I can give some input. So for this, I, I'm writing the parameters. So parameters is primarily to get this screen in the middle before getting the output, wherein you can give some input. So here, I said you have to always write that uh, you know condition in capitals. Why? Because even if I enter in the lowercase letter in the input, it will convert that into capital letters. It will automatically convert into capital letters. So that is the reason we have to write the condition on capital letters. So now the parameters that we have used here can be actually one p and this now in this we have to we will be going ahead with say something like if p underscore color is equals to r this r needs to be in capital letters rest of all the things can be in any anything and if okay right color is red fine so this is the first if statement Okay. Okay. Now, if I give something other than that, so here we have. else part right color is no so if you if you write this else part it will not check for any condition else will not check for any condition if anything other than that it will automatically come here so when i say r and execute the, the color is red will come and now when i say y it says color is red. i'm popping back here yeah. So here we have if p underscore color is equals to r, right color is red, else right color is unknown. Now this is what we have. And uh, then we have other conditions. We can have multiple conditions. It's not just only one color, right? So we can have multiple conditions. How do we have the multiple conditions here? Else if, else if p underscore color is equals to say white w, right color is white okay. 
minus which is the end is plus color is equals to create right color is green okay so you can have any number of else if statements like this you can have any number of else if statements like this and i have written for three conditions red white and green and if none of these conditions satisfy automatically it will come to the else part for else as we know there's no condition so any of these conditions does not satisfy by default it will come to the else part this is called else else if end state end if state as w red white green right green so if none of the satis none of the conditions satisfy like we have something like uh, purple so purple we didn't handle so it will come to the color is unknown this is what we have okay now let us now go ahead and go for multiple conditions multiple conditions and multiple values say for suppose here i have another field called p underscore size p underscore size okay this is another this is another field now i will we will write a condition like and condition so we'll write else if if none of the conditions satisfy p underscore color let's say is equals to some purple and okay and remember and p underscore size equal to small right color is purple and size is small Color is purple and size is small. Now, when we have this P and this is S, so execute and color is purple and size is small. If both conditions satisfy only, then it'll it'll come. If I give it as medium, the size is medium, it doesn't work because and condition expects both conditions to be satisfied. So if I execute it, it will go into the color is unknown because both the conditions are not getting satisfied. But now when you go ahead and go for or condition, else if, else if P underscore color is equals to violet or P underscore size, is equals to medium right color is violet or size is medium when i execute this p and for color color is Violet and size is medium. Either color is violet or size is medium. Now, either of these two conditions is satisfied, it will work because K, uh, color is violet or size is medium. Okay. And here I'll give uh, this as V, and um, this is something like I'll give it as uh, uh, big. Even then, it works. But remember if you give this color is red okay irrespective of whatever you give the conditions it will not go to next condition if this condition is satisfied it will not go to the next condition please remember that so what do i mean by that what do i mean by that is if i give here r and whatever i give here small big large whatever it might be it doesn't matter it directly goes to color is red because this condition is executed because it the color is red is in the beginning so this is what is is executed okay so once 
one condition is satisfied, the system will come out of this uh, this loop. It will come out of the loop. This is what. We have. So we have uh, if condition, and condition, uh, if condition, if else if condition, else condition. Okay, now this is if else if else if uh, with and conditions. This is what we. Have. Now we can have and we can have n number of ands, we can have n number of ors, and we can have a lot of conditions in this. Now comes case. Case statement is very, very simple actually. So let's go for the case now. This is if statement, right? Now we can write case statement. Case is narrowed down to only one field. You cannot have conditions on multiple fields when when uh, red when r right color is red when Color is white. When green, right? Color is green. Now we have uh, else part, right? Else part in the if statement. In that way, in in case statement, we have something called others. When others, others does not need any condition. Others does not need any condition. If none of the conditions satisfy, it will come to the others. So, color is unknown. So this is what we have. Color is red. If I go for green, color is green. And if I go for violet, it comes to color is unknown. Okay, color is unknown. Now here, now here, if you see, you cannot go for another condition, another field. How can we go for another field? See here, here in the if condition, we could have we could have written like this for every every time we are writing a field. But here at the beginning itself, we are fixing up the field. The beginning itself, uh, we are fixing up the field, and then we have this. This is what we have. Now, um, this is about the case statement, and then we'll go ahead with a do statement. Do is pretty, you don't have to have any conditions for the do. You don't even need the parameters. Even if they are there, system is not going to throw any error. So here we have do 10 times and do right India. Now when I do that, obviously every one of you might have already guessed what would be the output. Okay, because I gave slash, every output will come in the next line. If I don't give the slash, it will come one beside the other. So India will be typed how many times? 10 times. So here, if you have a repeat code, okay, if you have a repeat code that we have to use it again and again, then we can go for this do. Do will actually repeat the code again and again multiple number of times okay do also happens to be a control break statement other than do we have one more command called loop okay loop we can use it only when you have internal table and work area only when we have the internal table and work area we can use the loop
okay so i'm uh, so what we'll do is we will have all these uh, uh, notes that i have writing on a daily basis i'll be updating that in a in a folder in the drive and every day this will be shared with you all you can access them on a daily basis so any programs that i am writing i can I'll copy that here in the word document and share it with you and also the recordings also will be shared with you in the drive uh, i know uh, you know I, i was not able to do that uh, recordings sharing and all they are there they are already converted so once they are converted i'll keep them in a drive and then share it with you so so going forward we are going to and uh, discuss uh, concepts individually like this and it will take some time for us to go ahead with the projects so the syllabus also i'll i'm going to share it in the drive tomorrow you know today tomorrow i'm going to share that and i will be giving the drive link to all of you so whatever i i drag and drop into that drive will be accessible to you all whoever have got there in this batch so i'll make that list actually shweta will be doing that list so once she does that and uh, access that so tomorrow morning i'll be uh, he'll be giving my laptop so all this process will be done but uh, from tomorrow onwards you'll get everything continuously okay so server access you need to have the server access to practice so server access will be provided by us so just contact shweta and uh, i and you can the number you can whatsapp us on 7842 000555 for uh, the you know so we access now you can contact us right okay now going forward we will be discussing about a uh, few more uh, statements like we have lot of things like do while statements and all this uh, you know uh, uh, macros we have so these all conditions we actually don't use much what we regularly use what is what we are telling we we are discussing see when i'm telling about a car now uh, if i tell you uh, something about the banner something about the uh, charger something about something which we we'll never open and see then it will be very confusing for you to drive so when when i am teaching driving what is that i have to tell you what are the main things that are very important like where is the brake what is accelerator what is a gear what is the steering but if i tell you about something like uh, what music system is there it's it's secondary music system if you don't know also it doesn't make much difference but these mandatory things have to be known so these mandatory things whatever i'm telling right now are very important and then you can learn it and remember i, I, I always tell this to everyone that initially when you are learning something you have you should never do self learning no one in the world was able to do that remember that if you see uh, 5000 years old history also like you take uh, ramayana and mahabharata or any any other uh, see or you take the latest uh, uh, latest uh, uh, you know movies also anywhere no one will be able to practice something or learn something on their own because it is going to consume lot of time and lot of confusion it creates lot of confusion see uh, when you when you when you were driving learning to uh, learning bicycle learning a bike or learning a car you needed someone to be beside you you cannot learn on your own it even if you are trying to do that it wastes lot of time and energy and you get very uncomfortable so you get into very uncomfortable situation uh, even 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 if i am going to a gym i would like to uh, i would like the trainer to suggest me how to do the gym only that way i'll do otherwise if i do on my own way uh, I, i might have some trouble so similarly here in sap also initial steps you have to learn from me but that does not stop you that that's not enough you have to learn some things on your own just like just because i i teach you how to drive a car that does not mean that you can directly go to a car race for getting into a car race you first need to practice on that similarly the more you practice here the more comfortable you become in the software and the more more comfortably and confidently you can go for the interviews okay and i'll also suggest you that path to it i cannot force anyone to uh, you know get a job it's something which i can show you the path which was which was uh, you know followed by a lot of people in the past and they got a good you know career in the ns okay so this is what we have any 
any doubts and queries and questions you can ask me in the last five minutes any every day okay i'll be giving you the five minutes and right now because the the batch is forming right now uh we we are starting at somewhere around 7 15 sharp but now uh slowly we'll move on to seven o'clock because we have a lot of interesting topics which will take long time so maybe we'll start by seven and end by eight okay that's that's the standard time but right now we are starting and uh, because everyone is joining uh, five minutes here and there is starting it like that okay so that's it from my side today and if you have any common questions or something you can please uh, ask me now that we can discuss that and we can close.